Hello, I'm Dr. Lauren Hyman, and welcome to Scooch Down, where you can talk to your gynecologist like you talk to your friends. So, you've been trying to get pregnant, it's been over a year, you've had a basic infertility workup, and you're ovulating, your partner's making good sperm, and you've had an evaluation, there's no reason why they shouldn't be getting together. What's next? Well, many doctors will offer basic infertility in their office before moving on to a reproductive endocrinologist. And for some reproductive endocrinologists, this is the first step. When the woman is ovulating, it may be beneficial to get her to ovulate stronger and possibly with more eggs. We can do this by using a medication called clomiphene citrate. Clomiphene citrate has some qualities that are like estrogen and some qualities that are anti-estrogen, but essentially you're tricking your body into thinking that it's not making enough estrogen. Estrogen is the hormone that's made by your ovaries when it's developing all the little follicles that turn into eggs. So your body thinks there's not enough estrogen in the system, it makes more follicles and it makes stronger follicles. Different doctors have different protocols of how to put their patients on clomiphene citrate for conception. In my case, I put patients on it from day three through seven. One of the things about clomiphene citrate, like I mentioned, it can be an anti-estrogen. It can actually thin the lining. It can actually make the cervical mucus a little bit more poor. So I use an estrogen once the clomiphene is done to once the ovulation is expected to help with those two scenarios. Once the patient ovulates, and some doctors will use a beta HCG shot as a trigger for ovulation, it's time for the sperm. And that can either happen through intercourse. In my case, I ask patients to have sex the night before they ovulate, checking for ovulation with a over-the-counter ovulation predictor kit the day they ovulate, and the next day as well. I don't want people to have sex more than once a day because I want the sperm level to stay high and consistent. Some doctors, and in our office as well, will recommend inseminations in conjunction with the clomiphene citrate. And in our case, we inseminate people the day after the color change and the day after that as well. When you use the ovulation predictor kit, you're urinating on a stick and that is detecting the amount of luteinizing hormone in your system. When you get a surge of luteinizing hormone, the stick will change and give you an indicator. Sometimes it'll be a smiley face, sometimes it'll be a color change. You generally ovulate 24 to 48 hours after that indicator. Again, some people's protocol include putting people on a progesterone several days after ovulation for two weeks, until either the pregnancy test is positive or the pregnancy test is negative. Some women have what's called a luteal phase defect. Once the egg pops out of the follicle, that follicular cyst becomes what's called a corpus luteum cyst and it makes progesterone to support the lining of the uterus. In some people's cases, that progesterone level may not be high enough to support the lining and the new embryo, and that may be the cause of not being able to get pregnant. Some extra progesterone in the second half of the cycle may help with that. We ask people to stay on the clomiphene citrate regime for at least three months to see if it works. And for some doctors, you might do clomiphene citrate for three months, add an insemination for another three months, and go from there. If these techniques don't work, generally the next step is with a reproductive endocrinologist who can give injections or even recommend other things like in vitro fertilization. So once you're trying to get pregnant, the infertility workup doesn't show anything, and you want some basic next steps, these are ones that your doctor might recommend. I hope this has been helpful. This is Dr. Lauren Hyman, and this is Scooch Down. I'll see you next time.